I am so impressed with the work that Alexandra is doing with Data Act Lab. To have followed this and to see that someone has that intelligence but also the creativity to make information being seen in a comprehensive way so that we can follow not only the money but also the flows and understand and learn more about the world in a way that can really inspire others because I think not at least development aid do need much more participation and accountability and that's why Data Act Lab is absolutely needed and I'm so happy to be a friend with Alexander. When I was working in Angola in Luanda, the capital of Angola, walking out from my apartment building, I saw small street children waking up and coming up from the sewage system in Luanda. And this was in a country with a lot of oil and diamond resources, and the kids were living in the sewage system. And, and that was just too much for me really to handle, and I felt I needed to do something about it. I was out at the Swedish embassy in Namibia, uh, in uh, Mozambique, I went back and worked at headquarters, went out with the UN, spent some time in Brussels with the European Commission, and then my last mission was to Malawi, where I worked with the civil society organization, really working on the ground, out in the fields. And all through these different positions, I felt that we were not basing decisions properly uh, on facts and evidence. And it's not a question of that there is no data out there. There are millions of data sets sitting in the UN or with the OECD, with the IMF, etc., with the World Bank. It's just that the data has not been put together in easy ways for people to understand. And if people cannot understand data, they will not act upon data. So, ready, steady, go. First, we had a fast rise in Uganda and Zimbabwe. They went upwards like this. In Asia, the first the country to be heavily infected was Thailand. So I called up uh, Professor Hans Rosling. Hello, Professor Hans Rosling. My name is Alexandra. I'm sitting within the Ministry for Foreign Affairs, trying to figure out uh, what resources are available to, to eradicate poverty. Has someone looked into this? Professor Rosling said, uh, well, that's very interesting that you bring it up. Gates is on me all the time and wants me to visualize financial flows, but I decided not to do it because I'm working on my demographic statistics. Well, if you, you're not going to do it, I would do it because I can't see this happening. <laughs> then Professor Rosling asked me how I would visualize it, what you're going to put on the x-axis and the y-axis. I said, well, I have an idea, but I can't code anything or design anything because I'm not an IT person, but I have an idea of what I would like to do. So Professor Rosling asked me to pull out my children's pens and papers and start to make drawings on how this could be done. So I did that and sent it to him. I said, OK, Alexandra, I believe in you. You're extremely stubborn. You need some data crunchers to help you. And he put me together with some data crunchers. But it was, hasn't all been that easy to, to create Data Act Lab. There's a lot of demand for what we're doing, and I think a lot of actors realize that it's very important. But it's very difficult to get funding for it because the big aid bureaucracies are not really designed to fund small, innovative ideas and projects. They are rigged to uh, disperse large chunks of money to established channels. But I got funded. The Gates Foundation decided to fund a British think tank called Development Initiatives. And together with them, Data Act Lab visualized financial flows to 150 countries in the world. Now we have moved on and want to be able to help the whole country to track not only one goal, but all the 17 sustainable development goals. So currently working with the Colombian government, uh, and try to set up the smartest way to track and visualize implementation of the global goals in Colombia. And this is extremely exciting because Colombia is one of the first countries that has set up a system to track the global goals uh, at their national level. Transparency is fundamental to create change, to create accountability by governments towards the citizens and for citizens to hold governments to account. So uh, without transparency, there is no democracy, really.